Yeah. Do you love leg day? Leg day. Leg day. So we are going to change it up with, and we're gonna play with some timing, okay? Nothing is better for the body than freaking it out with some crazy timing. So today's times workouts are gonna go for 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds rest, and we're gonna start with some lunges on just one side. So pick, pick your, your weaker side, because then you'll feel really good next, next leg. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so starting with 50 seconds on the clock, let's do it. So we're gonna play with chiming. We're gonna go so slow, going up and all the way down. I want your hands on your hips, chest is nice and high, nice. We're bending that back knee for so, so slow. Now in a lunge, excuse me, in a lunge, you should be able to raise that front toe and not rock your body, okay? That's where you want all the weight is in that front heel. So make sure you're coming down comfortably, should be able to raise that toe. We only have 15 more minutes right here. Playing with timing. <laughs> I meant all day long. <laughs> One more here. Nice. Shake it out. Other leg comes forward. Very nice. Your master's at this point at setting up a lunge. So I want you to double check. Are your shoulders back and down? Are you going straight up and down? Are you bending that back knee first, okay? And again, can you comfortably raise that toe and not shake your form, okay? That heel is that foundation, so make sure all the weight is right there and you're picking a spot in the room that doesn't move. So I don't recommend watching the screen because we are moving. So find a spot in the room that doesn't move at all and focus hard on it. So slow, nice, exhale. One more. Hey, so slow. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna pick up the pace. Really freak our body out. We're gonna squat down, adding a jump with one leg alternating each time, okay? So we're gonna jump up. Ah. What's cool about these is you can always kick. So when you're in a street fight, when someone takes your stuff at the grocery store, get out of there. That was my job. <laughs> I'm a really aggressive shopper, so I practice this a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But down and up. Up. Nice. Very nice. If you need a modification, always stick with just a squat or you can just kick forward. We've done belt kicks before. Same idea, but this time we're just adding that height. Okay, so we have time for one more each leg. Nice. Whew, that was good, right? Nice, we're now playing the timing again. Down, holding a squat right now. So give me a wide squat. You're gonna alternate with the toe raise. Now, at this point of the workout, you're gonna start seeing some sweat, feeling some sweat because we went from a crazy shot in the heart and you're to blame. No, shot in your heart rate and then we stop. But we're still moving and we're still using our larger muscles and our legs, which are fat burning muscles, okay? So we're really, really freaking our body out. Inside, they're like, what is happening? Prepare for the next thing, but they don't know what the next thing is. You don't even know what the next thing is. Just keep trusting. Stay low. Nice. So here's the next thing. Mid stand squat. We are gonna be holding our feet one heel toe apart from hip distance apart. We're gonna come back, tiny glute squeeze. So nothing intense yet. But our body is still prepped for this intense work and in fear that we're gonna jump or spike our heart rate again. So the fat burn continues. Awesome, right? Science. <laughs> Science rules. Kick back. And I want you to aim 
your foot like you're kicking to the corner of the room behind you, okay? You're not kicking a super wide kick, it's just enough that if you were to just kick back at an angle, you'll feel engagement in your glutes. That's what you want. Just adding a squat, tiny glute engagement. Nice. Hands again are off the body or on the hips. Three, two, and one. Coming down to the floor. We are doing single leg glute bridges. If at any time this is feeling weird or for whatever reason, you can always drop down and just do both legs down for two rounds. Otherwise, you're gonna take one leg out and the goal is to try and keep it as, at the same angle, the same level as this leg, okay? See how they're in a straight line? Then come up and down, up and down. Nice, but again, if you ever need to, drop down. Just make sure you do the same amount of work on both legs if you do a single leg glute raise on one side. And you can always just hold it or you can pump it up and down. Raise those hips just a little higher. Nice. Other side, so shake out those legs, get them ready for some work. If you did two legs the whole time last time, do the same thing this time. Or you can pump it or hold. Again, the weight is in the heel here. Just raise up and keep those hips nice and straight. Try not to let them like wobble or drop one. Keep them nice and straight as if both legs were down on the floor. Almost there. <laughs> nice. Then time. We roll it over. And we've done this a couple times. We're just gonna lay down. Heels come together. Bringing those heels to the ceiling, okay? If you wanted to, you could always do just one at a time. A little bit more range of motion. Just wanna make sure that you're keeping your, the rest of your body nice and flat the whole time. And again, your hands are way awake, right? Yeah. Freaking crazy awake. So you should be well aware of your glutes well aware of your hamstrings at this point. A few more seconds. Nice. Now we're slowly gonna come up and do that whole thing one more time. Starting with those, starting with those slow lunges. Woo, that. It's hotty, down, and up, nice. Something I see a lot that I wanna warn you guys about, is your back toe, or are you up on that back toe? Sometimes I've seen training clients do the whole movement with their foot down, and they complain that it hurts. It's gonna hurt just because there's no movement in that back heel. So make sure that you're up on that toe. If you need help with your balance, if you're feeling like off or wobbly, because lunges are, pretty challenging. Grab a chair, grab a chair, hold it, and make sure that your everything is a nice straight line again, going up and down, but then that you're up on that toe, okay? Grab a chair for that balance. No problem in that. Down and up. Other side. <laughs> so if you grabbed the chair last time, use the chair this time. Super slow, all the way down, and all the way up. Very nice. Oops. 
Hands are off the body, except for maybe on the hips. Very nice. We finished these last ones on this side. I didn't do any on this side. <laughs> Very nice. We are going into those jump knees, so ready to freak our bodies out. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. Here it goes. <laughs> so down, up, down, up. Nice. Don't forget, you always have that option, okay? But I mean, if you're gonna fight for that milk, whatever that person took, Black Friday is coming up sometime this year. <laughs> up, practice that movement. Please don't actually really use this in real life. Just <laughs> maybe in sports, never to harm someone else. Only for cool, <laughs> cool pictures, cool feelings, cool things. <laughs> we never use this except for, for good. <laughs> Two, three, very nice. Squat hold with the toes. Now we're gonna feel that sweat just dripping down when we hold it down, alternating those toes. Nice, can you bring your bum down a little lower? Even a little lower? Oh, she hates me. <laughs> Good, are you going lower at home? A little lower. Really sinking into those glutes. Try not to sink into the hips. If you're feeling any movement or any pressure in your hips, shake it out, start over. Maybe shorten your stance, okay? You can do it. We're so close. Keep your core super tight so you shouldn't feel it in your back. Just remember to bring those abs in and sit on down. We only have a few more seconds left. Two, one, perfect. Coming down to the floor. No, I lied, we're not. Mid stance squat. Doing the squat with a kick back. Nice. Down, kick back. And just like I said before, it's just a tiny movement. There's no need to like, we're not in the Jane Fonda video. You don't need full crazy extension. Just a little bit, back into a corner, okay? That's all you need. That's the only movement that you really need. Two on the side. Just enough to feel that contraction. Very nice. You can squat a little lower. Can you brace your core a little harder? Three, two, and one. Nice, now we're coming down to the floor. Again, you can do two rounds, two legs on the floor, full bridge, or just focus on that single leg hold. Breathe, raise those hips up just a little higher. Very nice, shake it out. Then one more leg and then one more exercise. <laughs> so two more exercises. <coughs> nice, raise up.
Hold that glute bridge. Again, keeping that one raised leg in line with the other leg, okay? Nice straight lines. Six more seconds. Whew. Roll it over onto that belly. Now, if you're pregnant, I haven't said this, but if you're pregnant, don't do this. Just come back up into a kick or you can bring your heel to the ceiling, same idea, and just kick up and just alternate those feet. Maybe three reps. So try that if you can't lay on your stomach for any reason. Few more, make sure you're still breathing. Nice. Come back. Push back into child's pose for a second. And from there, I'm gonna have you lean to one side. Oh, the buns. Lean the buns to the one. Oh, yeah. opening and relaxing that glute. One more stretch for you today. I'm gonna bring one leg through. So you kind of sit on it as much as you can to your comfort level, okay? There, switch legs. Very nice. And bring it in. You did it! I'm gonna have a couple days more in this challenge, so make sure you're up on your meal plan. Make sure you're testing and checking your body weight measurements, okay? And your body weight and your measurements to make sure that we're on track, that we're making progress. And I will see you next time.